Today, cats with kidney disease can live a longer and healthier life thanks to improved dietary and drug therapies. You can play an important role in your cat's health by learning to recognize the warning signs of kidney disease. We noticed he was really going after water. I started to worry when he was doing strange things to get water. He would be sitting on the edge of the bathtub and my daughter would like scooped up a little water in her hands and he was right there drinking out of her hand. That was weird. They pee and pee and pee and it's like, are you, are you done? <laughs> and she could pee huge quantities, you know, four, five, six times a day. She would just hang out in the basement and she wasn't really doing anything. She was just hanging out in the basement, staring at the wall. I think the, the thing that made us really worry was he had, was, was not eating a whole lot, and he uh, began to exhibit this kind of, that kind of behavior, that inward looking, you know, sort of sitting there kind of hanging his head. It's important to pay attention to your cat's daily routine and be on the lookout for any problems such as increased thirst, drop in appetite, weight loss, lethargy, vomiting, or changes in litter box habits like increased urination or constipation. Remember, cats are very good at hiding illness, so if you notice anything out of the ordinary, it's best to schedule an appointment with your veterinarian to have your cat checked. Hi, Heather, how are you? How is Ossie doing? Well, I brought him in because I've been concerned he's been losing a little bit of weight. And anything else different? Is he could be vomiting or having diarrhea or...? I haven't noticed any of that. Good. At the checkup, your veterinarian will do a complete physical examination. All of your cat's body systems, including the urinary system, will be examined. The only other thing is his, his kidneys feel a little bit on the small side. You know, he's a big cat, so it's hard to say exactly what they should be for him. I don't remember them being small in the past. I would also recommend that we do some blood tests. It's, it's important to know what his kidneys are doing and his liver, as well as the rest of the organs. There are a number of routine screening tests your veterinarian can use to help diagnose kidney disease. One of these blood tests is a complete blood count to look at your cat's red blood cells and immune system. Another test is a biochemistry panel to see how well your cat's kidneys and other organs are working. A third blood test looks at your cat's thyroid hormone level, and sometimes your cat's blood pressure is measured to look for hypertension. And really if we look at all of these tests, the goal is to pick things up early before the owner might notice that the cat is ill, then it's the best time to catch them and to treat them. Your veterinarian uses your cat's test results to evaluate how well your cat's kidneys are functioning. Kidney disease may be suspected if your veterinarian finds elevations in blood urea nitrogen, or BUN, and creatinine, two toxic waste products normally removed by the kidneys. Abnormal levels of electrolytes like low potassium and high phosphorus. A low red blood cell count, or anemia. Dilute urine, called low specific gravity, indicating the kidneys are not concentrating urine properly. Abnormal amounts of protein in the urine. And high blood pressure. So what we're seeing on the blood work um, and in the urine is that his kidneys are not functioning properly. We see that both in the blood where he's retaining some toxins that he should be excreting uh, normally and his urine is not concentrated properly the way urine should be in, in most cats. And so with a combination of those two things, it, it looks like he does have very early um, chronic kidney disease. How does a cat get kidney disease? The majority of kidney disease in cats happens for reasons that we don't know. It's really, really common. It's one of the more common diseases of a cat of his age. And as, as cats get older, it becomes even more common. So you're saying this is a chronic condition, but he looks fine, he's been playing, he's been active, he's, he's been appearing to be healthy. How could that, how could that be? Yeah, and that, I understand. That, that's that's hard, hard to accept. And, and sometimes, and his, his disease is still quite mild. Sometimes we see that even with cats with much more progressive disease. I think what happens is as the disease slowly progresses, they get used to this buildup of toxins in their body and they don't show obvious signs. If the same degree of kidney damage would have happened quickly, 
then he would be sick. But the way he is right now, he's gotten used to it, and he's, and he's acting fine, and that's good, because he's feeling good, and that's the most important thing. And again, hopefully, he'll continue to feel good for quite some time. I was really surprised to get such a significant diagnosis because he'd been doing so well and I had no idea that there was anything so significant going on. All I noticed was a little weight loss. You know, with cats, it seems like before you know anything's wrong, they're already further down the road on some things than you would think that they are. The key to successfully treating kidney disease is to find the disease in its earliest stages. Starting treatment early can significantly improve your cat's quality of life and help your cat to live longer. Pay close attention to your cat's habits and discuss any problems with your veterinarian. Take your cat in for routine wellness exams and ask your veterinarian about screening tests to help pick up medical problems in their early stages.